Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So before I get into this video, I just want to say I do have a cough. I've had this cough for like forever now. This cough is getting annoying, but as I talk, my throat dries out. I need, I, I'm going to be muting myself. I'm just, I'm going to say that I'm not editing it out. That's too much work. But anyways, today's game that I'm going to be playing is called Chess Legends. This game is absolutely amazing. I, I fell in love with this game. It's like love at first game site, okay? This game is actually amazing. So, basically what this game is, is one of these chess games where you can, like, auto-open the chess. First off, I like these games, but I also hate these games because they get very, very boring very, very fast. This game has so much to it and so much else to do that it just makes it interesting. Because most of the games that I played like this, it, well, I'm not going to say most, I'm going to say every other game that I played like this. It's the same stuff. It's literally open a chest, get gear, fight people. That's it. There's nothing else to it. This game, they have the Tower of Trials, which I find awesome. They have a campaign. They have a boss. They have material challenge, which the material challenge, the very first one, main dish, this is where you can get your food to level up your character. And as you level up, you unlock more um, perks and skill points for your hero, which you can use in your skill tree. Each of your skill tree gives you better stuff, like this gives you life steal, this gives you recovery, and then this gives you a block chance. This is sick. The other games don't have, I've never seen one with a skill tree or anything like that. So I find this game amazing. It is a new game. This game only came out November 18th, or maybe a little bit earlier than that, but that's when the update says it was, and it doesn't have a release date, so I don't, I don't know. I did talk to some people, and they said it's only been out for like not even a month, so... I really enjoy this game. It has an offline feature, um, and yet it does go longer than one minute. I just shut down the game and came back on like two seconds ago. But yeah, so this game is sick. It, the offline counts, and the reason why I like it is it's not pay to win. There's nothing that you can buy from what I have seen. This game is sick, dude. Like it, I, the fact that it's not pay to win just makes me want to play it more because that was skill based. It's just who can actually grow the fastest and be the smartest on divvying out stuff. I like that. Now this, the food and stuff, like you basically feed your dude food to get through this energy. This is how much I'm assuming energy you get per hour. So my next level is in 22 hours and 47 minutes. But I can feed them this food. Right now, you're only allowed to use 100 dishes a day. So make sure you're using your dishes properly. Like, I'm probably not going to use any of these dishes. Maybe tomorrow I might. We'll see. But you basically want to make sure you're using the highest percent and make sure you're getting the most out of it because you are only allowed 100 a day. Um, And the cool, as I said, since this game isn't pay to win, that's what makes me like it even more because I, I physically can't find anything to buy. Like, these are the premium currency, and there's nowhere to buy it. I've clicked on everything. I've literally searched everywhere to find some sort of paid aspect. I have not found that at all. You can't buy anything. Now, they might implement it later, which I, I hope they don't because the game is perfect how it is. Yeah, this game's sick, though. It, it is really good. Like, this this is the best game that I've been able to find. There's, like, you could grow stuff in the farm, which helps you create things, uh, get more things out of it. And then every day they give you a free water to get this, to create food. So you can, like, basically go here and then you can go and cook food. Which this food, as you remember, is used to level up your hero. This... This game is sick. I don't know. I want you guys to try it. Tell me what you think. And for the people who have already played this, um, this is the guide portion, which I'm hopefully going to add like a clip it in the thing if I remember to do so. But yeah, there's uh, guilds. The higher level your guild beast, the higher level, like, like basically the more power that you're going to have. So higher level guilds are stronger and you get more bonuses out of them. Now, the guide portion that I'm going to give is artifacts. Artifacts are a major thing in this game. And you're going to really, really, really want to equip the higher rarities as much as possible. Like right now I have a purple. I shouldn't have a purple. Um, reason being is you sh I should be hopefully getting more oranges and stuff up because you want the oranges on. Like basically, okay, so right here, no equipment required to take effect. This line right here, 
that means it doesn't need to be equipped to take effect. This one says equip this uh, in battle to take effect. So each thing has a, a take effect and you don't need it on or you do need it on. Now the higher ones give better bonuses. Like this purple one, as you see, only gives like 2%. Orange will give like 3%. Red will give like a 4%. And then rainbow will give like, I'm assuming 5% for certain things. But you basically always want to have the higher things on because they give more out of it. There's also certain ways and certain things to do things because I'm pretty sure certain things boost other things. Yeah, anyways, I'm rambling on, but artifacts are very important. So I would suggest you read them, look at them, look at their abilities, and see what one you think is the best. And I would say equip that because they are very important to the way your guy fights and everything and how much damage he is going to dish out with the damage that he has so yeah artifacts are important anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if there is anything that you want me to like talk about on the game or talk about how to like kind of grow faster and how to be on top of the game i could always go over that but yeah i think this is a extremely good game and i really enjoy it so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace